Hey everyone, welcome back to Ali Bakes. I'm Eliza Saw, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this super cute koi fish pond slash kimono themed cake. It's definitely a more unique kind of cake and I was inspired by all these prints on Pinterest and so I wanted to do something with a koi fish pond and also with these very intricate patterns and these bright colors. And if you'd like to see how I made it, then feel free to keep on watching. So I started by baking a red velvet cake and making some cream cheese frosting. And if you've seen my videos before, you know it starts by trimming the cake so that it's level and then cutting it in half and then brushing each layer with simple syrup to keep it nice and moist. And then we're going to fill each layer with some cream cheese frosting. until you've reached the top and then we're going to crumb coat the whole thing in cream cheese frosting and then we're going to put that into the fridge to chill and because cream cheese frosting is a little bit unstable in my opinion i'm going to be using a italian meringue buttercream just to coat to the outside and to mask the cake i do have recipes on my red velvet cake my cream cheese frosting and my Italian meringue buttercream. I also have a tutorial on how to mask cakes and if you want to see all of that there will be links below. So now that the cake is chilled we're just going to mask the outside in a thick layer of Italian meringue buttercream and I dyed mine a nice muted blue. So to prep my decorations I actually made my fish a long time like right before i actually started on the cake itself so that it had time to dry and i made sure to stick them onto skewers before they were set and dried so that they would be easy to stick into the top of the cake and i'm just using some gum paste and we're just going to shape it into a little fish kind of shape and we're going to create little fins by just rolling out small pieces of gum paste thinning out the edges after rolling it and using a ball tool and a foam board just to thin out the very edge. We're going to score the fin using a knife and we're just going to make it seem like it's a very paper thin fin. And we're going to do two fins for the top or the slash middle. And then we're going to do the tail. And I'm making three fish, so I'm just going to let them dry on my skewers. And the way that I attach the fins is just by using a little bit of water and just kind of scoring it so that it sticks together really well and then it'll dry really rock hard because it's gum based. So I decided to color my koi fish using some powdered orange and powdered red food coloring. I wanted to use powdered because it wouldn't disrupt the drying time and it also creates a very, a very strong pigment for the sort of fan shapes or scale shapes that will be on the side of the cake. I'm just using some fondant which I dyed some green, red, white, and black. And for the white one, we're just going to make it a little bit yellow because we are going to brush it with some luster dust. And for the red, I wanted to make it super red so I did use some powdered food coloring to brush over the slightly muted red fondant. So all I did was just cut out a whole bunch of circles using a small cookie cutter. And that way I could just layer the circles over each other to make them look like fish scales. I just overlapped the layers over and over again until I was happy with it. And then for a last little finishing touch, I took some white buttercream, which I just put into a white Ziploc bag. And I piped little flowers all around the cake. And then I made some even smaller flowers just by doing like little dots of buttercream. And in the larger flowers, so the five dots, I would put a dot in the middle of blue buttercream just to kind of tie in the whole blue background with the blue flower centers. And I thought that little touch made it really nice and dainty. So then I took a little bit of white buttercream to make a little splash around the three 
fishes and this is optional. You can also add a little bit more buttercream to make it look like it's rippling, but that's also optional. And I also made a couple lily pads just for the top of the koi fish pond and I just wanted to add like a little bit of depth to it so I did brush a little bit of the center with blue food coloring to make it look a little dark in the center. If you don't know how to make the lily pad, all you have to do is cut out a circle and then cut out a triangle for that signature shape. So there you have it, my finished koi fish pond slash kimono themed cake. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, I do recipes and tutorials every week. So thank you for watching. If you'd like to recreate my cake, please tag me at Ali Saw and show me some pictures. I'd love to see them. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for watching. I will see you all next week. Bye.